the electricity for the vehicle. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is 97 miles downrange at an altitude of 51 miles, traveling 6,000 miles per hour. Views from the external tank uh, camera looking down the vehicle. Very quiet here in Mission Control as the flight control team continues to watch over all systems. Everything uh, continuing to go very smoothly with Atlantis's voyage to the International Space Station. Three minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Atlantis, negative return. Roger, negative return. Atlantis can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure, but all three are continuing to perform well, as are the hydraulic systems and the electricity-producing fuel cells. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is 175 miles downrange from the launch site at an altitude of 62 miles, now traveling 8,000 miles per hour. The twin orbital maneuvering system engines continue to provide an additional boost to Atlantis as it heads toward the International Space Station. That ohms assist uh, should wrap up in the next uh, 15 seconds or so. All continuing to go very smoothly with Atlantis's trip to the International Space Station. On board, uh, Rick Sterko in the forward left seat, Lee Archambault in the uh, forward right seat, Pat Forrester, the flight engineer between them, Steve Swanson serving as mission specialist number one, or number two. Clay Anderson on his way to the International Space Station to replace Sonny Williams. Atlantis, press to ATO. Copy, Houston, press to ATO. Five minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis can reach orbit on two engines now, should one fail. However, all three are still performing as planned. Atlantis, single engine ops three. Copy, single engine ops three. Five minutes, 55 seconds into the flight. Atlantis beginning to roll to a heads-up position, the onboard guidance system putting Atlantis on a trajectory toward the International Space Station. Atlantis, single engine, Zaragoza 104. Copy, single engine, Zaragoza 104. And that call uh, means that Atlantis can reach Zaragoza in Spain on one engine. Press to Miko. Copy, Houston, press to Miko. And that call uh, indicates Atlantis can reach a safe orbit on two engines now, all three continuing to perform as expected. Your shutdown plan is nominal. You are go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Copy, Houston, nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. The flow of fuel from the external tank into the three space shuttle main engines is equal to that of draining an average backyard swimming pool in 25 seconds. Atlantis, single engine press, 104. Copy, Houston, single engine press. And that call from Tony Antonelli here in Mission Control indicating Atlantis can reach orbit on one engine now should two fail. All three engines are still performing as expected, approaching seven minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is traveling 19,000 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 640.